So Neil, a one all draw, got to be bitterly <coughs> disappointed. Um, yeah, bitterly disappointed, but to be fair, it was probably a fair result. Um, they could have probably nicked it at the end. Jack's made two great saves. Um, we were in control first half without overly hurting them. Um, created a few chances, but nothing, nothing spectacular. Um, but we were solid. And we said, you know, sometimes these types of games, you've got to manage a game, see games out. Um, but we come out second half and thought we were really poor. We, we were slow to do things. Um, um, didn't play with any any real intensity. We had a few chances, a few half chances, but again, nothing nothing much to shout about. I thought I thought Kings um, Kings uh, Langley they they came in, they they did a job, they sat they sat deep, and they tried to hit us on the break, and and it worked today. Um, Obviously, you set up a little bit different today. You know, you rotated the squad a little bit. You played with wide yeah. people, not a diamond that everyone's no. been going on about. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's <laughs> we we just had a, a, a long in depth discussion in there because um, second half wasn't good enough today and uh, and we, we said that there's some senior players out on the pitch and uh, we talked about sometimes when you're not playing well that you might have to turn teams around a little bit and we don't we try and play and play and play and play and sometimes you try and play too much and um, and we needed to we needed to do it a little bit ugly at times today and you know sometimes turn a team around get further up the pitch and, and then and then start again and uh, we just didn't we just didn't do that at all second half and we we, we, were, we were still in the changing rooms and we tried to make up the changes but to no avail there was just there was no real spark today and that was really disappointing yeah and in terms of the tempo as you say it was a little bit off there just didn't seem quite that bite that there sometimes is can you put your finger on no it? no not at all I'd say first half first half we were okay you know without I think we came in and sort of said we you know we've sort of sixes and sevens really we, we were solid without majorly hurting them um, um, but second half we just weren't we weren't at the races and uh, what, what can you say just uh, it's a disappointing disappointing result um, you know we, you can you can try and put a spin on it that we're unbeaten and it's nine unbeaten but these are the types of games that we we needed to win well, especially, um, especially with some of the other results obviously Hereford finally losing that long yeah. away but a uh, long way record and and obviously Weymouth winning it it puts pressure on well, it, 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 you say it puts pressure on. It's uh, it's it's only, only only pressure that we put on ourselves, really. You know, we we strive to um, to be successful, and and we have predominantly this season. You know, we're still we're still we're still very difficult to beat. But I, I, listen, I I, I, I felt that we could have lost that game today, and uh, say Jacks, I think made two fantastic saves and uh, and they could have been coming away with three points and and we'd, we'd be even worse so so we've, we've got to take take the fact that we've probably got a point that wouldn't say that we didn't deserve because we did deserve on the on the first half performance in terms of that we were solid um, but we just didn't create enough today and in terms of before these two games coming up at Arbor Park back to the mm -hmm. home games before some yep. actually tricky away games you targeted six points that yep. was what you looking for you got four where maybe on Saturday you could have come away with again one and you know, well we didn't so that you know there's there's no sort of we could have come away with one we we could have come away with three points at Hereford we didn't we come away with one we we come away with three against Merthyr we should have got six points from these two games that was what we that was what we were looking at um, we weren't looking at anything less so four points is is disappointing from where we want to be um, there's no, there's no there's no hiding that um, we're disappointed in there the players are disappointed as I say we've had a um, pretty in-depth in-depth discussion about it and there was a few things that, that came out and uh, that, that were interesting and and we'll, we'll try and work on those those sort of points really and in terms of that is that you know is that healthy is that what you want in addressing oh, well, people today, challenging each other no 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 I wouldn't say that, that, that we were challenging there was people challenging each other today it was a it was a good honest conversation with with a number of views coming out today um, that, that sometimes you actually do need you know sometimes it, it, you, myself and others we will talk and and people will listen um, and it's, it's sometimes nice for, for people to to have a have a view and and, and, and sort of give some feedback as well on, on why we why we played like we did second half and and uh, there was a number number that talked about it and listen that everyone knows that they were disappointed in second half um, without a question and in terms of the changes you know obviously you, you, you yep. brought up Ben was there any reason um, but yeah Ben Ben's been uh, he was struggling from Saturday um, he had a tight calf um, thought he worked worked really hard again tonight and uh, smarty 
Um, Smarty will, that, that situation sometimes when we start to get a little bit open, we, we wanted somebody to be able to pass the ball at centre half. And I'm not saying Smarty can't, um, but we, we dropped Togs in there because Togs will bring the ball out more. Um, it didn't necessarily happen as much, um, but we, we just felt that we wanted to get Webby on um, and, and, and push push them um, talks into center half and to be able to come out with the ball because at that point we needed to we needed to get on the ball and play and we didn't you know it it, it didn't work um, but that's 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 down to the players at the end of the day they're the ones that are out on the pitch they're the ones that are um, playing the game and uh, and we just didn't we didn't perform second half and where do you do uh, you know what do you do now on, on Thursday you've obviously got to try and have a, a session to get people yeah back listen on we, we get we abs Tiverton. absolutely we get in we work hard um, we're nine unbeaten. Um, we're we're uh, we're still in amongst it, and and we just have to have to keep fighting. Every game, every game in this league is difficult. There's no easy game. I said I said after Saturday, teams teams do come here. They do sit in a bit. They do try and hit hit you on a break. And and sometimes when you can't can't break them down, you get frustrated and you start doing making wrong decisions. And that's what we did second half. We made wrong decisions more often than not. First half, you could say um, we kept the ball. Um, we didn't really give it away too much. We 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 asked a few questions of them um, but we didn't do that second half and how much are you going to change things around for Saturday um, well you know we've got obviously floody uh, guy guy will be back and and uh, yeah Danny's not too far away so we, we, listen we'll, we'll see where we are hopefully this will be fit um, and obviously a very different pitch to the one here at, at Arbor Park and, and it'll be a completely different game you know and and we just said that in 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 uh, in the change room and We've got to go to Tiverton and, and work hard. You know, listen. If we if we go to Tiverton and pick up three points, um, then you, then you might turn around and say, well, okay, it, it sort of evens itself out. We're disappointed, uh, bitterly disappointed today with the result um, and the and the second half performance. Okay. Thanks for your time, Neil. All right, cheers, on.